To those who have come to celebrate the joining together in marriage of Cassandra Ann Grebus and James Patrick Andrew Twisdale, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. For my bride on our wedding day, I love you. I do not know of any other way to start this letter other than those meaningful words. You have supported me, raised my spirits, and loved me. You are my best friend, and I want to experience the rest of our lives with one another. I'm gonna cry. Please continue to accept me as the man who loves you throughout our journey. Through the storms, I will continue supporting you and telling you that I love you. Love, Patrick. <laughs> In celebrating with Cassie and Patrick, we're invited to examine our understanding of marriage and the seriousness of the vows they make to one another. Dear Patrick, today will be a day we, we cherish forever. I'm excited to marry you and start the next chapter of our lives together. I love you with my whole heart. I love how you are kind, thoughtful, caring, smart, and always there for me. You are my one true love, my best friend, and soon my husband. From the day we met, you've always made me smile. I am excited to go through the journey of life with you by my side. My love for you grows each and every day. I'm honored to become your wife and promise to love you unconditionally, always and forever. Love, Cassie. You're not supposed to be laughing. Like your dress. You ready to go back to being a little girl yet? No. I prefer the field hockey uniforms myself. You're not surprised by that. Nope. As a people of faith, we gather to witness the covenant vows of marriage Patrick and Cassie make before God and to pray for God's blessings upon them. We show by our presence our support for Cassie and Patrick. We rejoice in their love for each other and in their desire to be united in marriage. Celebrating the sacredness of their commitment we affirm their openness to the nature of God as the one who will unite them as wife and husband. Love never ends. So faith, hope, love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. God is the source of life, the creator of relationships, the one who unifies us and makes us one. 
who gives us all the love, joy, and strength we need in a Christ-centered marriage. As a token of your vows, you will give and receive the rings. Cassie, with this ring, I pledge my life and my love to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And Cassie, you will give the ring and repeat after me. Patrick, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now as a symbol of their being joined together as one, Cassie and Patrick will light the unity candle. Patrick and Cassie, before I officially pronounce you husband and wife, let me tell you how proud we are of you. Please remember that what are joined together today are more than a husband and a wife. What are joined together today are families. Now, since you've made these commitments before God in this assembly, by the authority of God as a minister of Jesus Christ, I now recognize Cassie Grebus and Patrick Twisdale are now husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no person separate. You may kiss your bride. Friends, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Twisdale. This is just the beginning. It is not the end. Your journey starts today.